it. Shut it down. If we don't get it. If we don't get it. Shut it down. School of Rock is the world's most revolutionary music school with programs for ages three and up. The walkout was in direct response to what would have been the third pay cut for front of house uh, during the pandemic. They were telling us the reason we were cutting the tip percentage was because the restaurant group couldn't afford to pay their back of house higher than minimum wage. People were tipping and, and shifting it to the back of house to supplement those under market wages. Grill cook at a steakhouse is making a high hourly wage, usually somewhat significantly over uh, a minimum cook. It's a very skilled, tough position. Uh, the restaurant group decided that it'd be cheaper, more profitable for them if instead of paying higher hourly wages to those skilled back of house workers to uh, make sure that those folks were gonna get adequate take home pay was to cut the take home pay of the servers by shifting the tip pool. You know, the food is absolutely part of the service and part of the experience. And that's never been our, our line that we don't want to tip out at all. They called, you know, a non-mandatory meeting to like try to suppress participation. And in this meeting, they uh, told us that it was an announcement and not a discussion and that we had no say in the decision that was being made and that they wouldn't talk to us about it as a group. Specifically, they pulled uh, myself aside before the meeting and told me I wasn't allowed to politic with my coworkers, which is illegal. Quickly backed down when I asserted that it was illegal. But, you know, in that same conversation, they said, if you ask questions like, um, and told me specifically that if I asked questions, like before the meeting, they told me if I asked questions during the meeting, that they would ask me to leave and not come back. So now uh, we have not gotten response to any of our asks. They're fighting this tooth and nail every step and they're still not even considering negotiating. And I, and I think like that right there is like a very intentional move, right? This is a restaurant group that has other locations, even in Venice. And they know that if they negotiate with us, that their other workers are going to see that and that they may have to negotiate um, with them. And what we think is going on here isn't that they can't financially like afford to do this. It's that they're worried about the precedent itself. If you can't afford to pay your workers, then you can't afford to take a profit. To do the latter without doing the former is not okay.